Ephesians chapter two verse ten says that we are masterpiece created in Christ Jesus. But when I look in the mirror, I don't really see a masterpiece of God. I mean, maybe a work of Picasso. But I want, I want to be his masterpiece. I want to be everything he created me to be. So I go to him in a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to be your masterpiece. Mold me into the image of your song. I would like to sacrifice everything. In name of Jesus, pray. Amen. Hi. Who are I'm you? I'm God. You said a prayer, so here I am. You must be kidding me. You're not God. I am. You said a prayer. That's how it works. Okay. If you are God, then make it snow here. I really don't want to make it snow here, because it would make you madala. Madali? What is madali? You are not God, because God won't say madali. Why not? It is a Shanxi accent. Okay. Then you tell me, what does Lamentations chapter fifteen verse nine says? Book of Lamentations only has five chapters. It is a short book. Why is it so short? Because I was tired of lamenting. Okay, okay. Then tell me, who's gonna win the World Cup this time? You know, I'm really not into these games. Why are you so much into playing games? Wow, you answer my question with a question. You are really God. Oh, I did it again. Well, step forward, and here we go. What? I'm going to make you into my original masterpiece. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. What? What are these about? These are the tools. I'm going to make you a masterpiece. Oh wait, wait. I thought you're a carpenter, right? Oh, that's my son. Let's make her start. Oh wait, wait, God. How do you know where should be chiseled? I want to chisel away all the stuff that you shouldn't have in your life, just like fat. Speaking of fat, God, you know, I started putting on weight after my twenties, growing fat on my thighs and my belly. I really don't know what to do with such fat. Now everyone says. Being fat ruined everything. I don't want to be like this. And look, take a look. God, I spent two years, but still cannot take off these teeth braces. Now you can help me with that, and cut all all things useless. Okay, okay, hurry up. You are funny. Really? You made me that way. I'm seeing most of my children. Just like you right now, they just want to keep talking, but they don't want to do the work. So, do you want to talk, or let me chisel? Okay, okay, I choose to chisel. Through my Holy Spirit, I'm going to bring up things into your life, like the anger. I created emotion, but you use it in the wrong way. You compare yourself with others. Instead of me, you are lazy. But you try to fool everybody by looking really busy. My God, pl- please wait. I mean, I feel like I know you have been doing some great works. But I feel like I'm looking pretty good right now. When you look into the mirror, who you see? I see me. That's right. That's why I have to chase you. Ultimately, you and other people need to see my son. Jesus, I know, I know. Okay, don't misunderstand me, God. I mean, when I look more like Jesus. A lot of my friends 
get uncomfortable around me. Even my church friends, they will say, "Wow, Suki, how holy you are! I don't want to make people uncomfortable or make me a little bit weird." So you'd rather play God in certain areas of your life than for me to be God over your whole life. That's not what I said. That's what you said. It is hard to talk to you. You know everything that I am thinking. I'm just saying, you have done some great work. Maybe we take a break, a sabbatical from each other, and let me stay right here. You know you can't stay right here. You are either moving toward me or away from me. What you are doing is called control. You want to be in charge of your life. Oh, let me chisel, control or chisel. All right, all right, I will let you chisel. Now this right here is a hidden scene. That it keeps running too. Whenever you are hurt, angry, lonely, that you think you are fooling everybody, but it's making you a whitewashed tomb. Are you ready for me to chisel away from your life? I'm ready. Oh, it is hard. Trust me, it hurts me more than it hurts you. God, why are you asking me to sacrifice a lot? Don't talk to me about sacrifice. I know all about sacrifice. I sent my beloved only son Jesus to die on the cross for sin, but also for another reason, to set you free. Do you know what insanity is? Insanity is a person doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting different results. For so many years, these happy wilds don't have anything to offer. Allow me to chisel them out of your life. Allow me to produce Jesus characters in you. But I think your thought are not my thought. What if we went another way? Your ways are not my ways. But, but I can't. You can walk. But I can't make it. That's your excuse. That's an excuse for running away. It is not an excuse. I can't. My child, listen to me. In the beginning. All I created were good. Of course, you can be good. But, but, how possible? What is it? Forget about it. Tell me. Nothing. I, God of the entire universe, wouldn't I understand what my child has to say? Try to look at me. My God, I know. I let you down so many times. No, child, not this way. You were never holding me up. I hold you up with my victorious, righteous right hand. Okay, then. Just be prepared. Just be prepared for what you are going to find in there. Because I know who inside there. I wake up every morning. When I look at her in the mirror, I feel myself useless. I try to be strong. I dress myself in my best looking. And I keep on doing things, but but I just can't. I can't be what other people want me to be, even be myself. Because I know deep inside there is a is this little never grow up kid. My Lord, I can't be everybody else expected me to be, even be myself. Tell me. How could I meet up to your expectation?
It has been possible. Do you know? You have listened to so many voices for far too long. Voices that were not from me. You always go outside decently to harvest people's praises. After you back home, you still think you were junk. Listen to me. I don't take times to make junks. How can I show you that my love for you lasts forever? I know. Reach in your back pocket. What? Reach in your back pocket. Are you arguing with me? Reach in your back pocket. How can you do that? It is a letter I wrote long time ago. Read it. Hello, Jingjing. How are you doing? The other side. Dear God, I I don't know whether I heard your voice today. Did I hear you say, "My child, I love you. Please give your life to me. I need you." My lord, were you talking to me? I feel myself so small. I feel myself now deserving of your blast. I feel bad about myself, and I feel so lonely. But you say. You want to use me, my lord. You really love me. I'm willing to. I'm willing to give my life to you. My lord, I love you. I love you too. And I love you so much. So this salvation that you hold, don't like to be some emotional support or some kind of knowledge. I want you to work out every detail of your life. And when problem comes, don't be afraid, but look at it as a father to discipline his child, discipline someone he loves. I want you to do something. Maybe this is your first time. Look at the mirror and say, "Suki is God's masterpiece." Suki is God's masterpiece. To think about the way I created you, to see yourself through the eyes of me, to say, "Suki is God's masterpiece." Suki is God's masterpiece. Yes, you are. Yes, God doesn't make junk. You are also God's great masterpiece.